If you've completed the 4.2 Archon quest in Fontaine, then you'll probably agree that Farina deserves the world. So today, we're going to be taking her on a tour across it. We'll be starting in Mondstadt and making our way through every region, fighting all the bosses along the way. For the sake of content, we'll be soloing them all with Farina, but just pretend that she's surrounded by friends the whole time. Now, just to make it a bit more interesting, if Farina dies more than five times in total, I will be doing what I've always refused to do, pulling on the beginner banner. I don't think this banner is worth pulling on since you can't build pity, and I'll be doing it with all of my remaining primo gems, so I'd rather not have it come to that. Stat-wise, our Farina is not terrible, but artifact-wise, she's not on the right set. So really quickly before we jump into that boss rush, I'm just gonna do a couple runs in this domain and see if we can get anything good for her. That one? Cool. It's the wrong set, never mind. Well, it was worth the shot, but we got nothing worth using. That means it is time to begin the boss rush. And yes, just for fun, I'm adding a timer. There's no real like time limit here or anything, but I'm just curious to see how long it'll take. How did I get hit out of invincibility? That's kind of weird. Oh, I could have done the first boss in under a minute if it didn't have this respawning mechanic that you can't negate. But there we go. Only a minute and 10 seconds. Wait, can I be electrohypostasis? I don't know if Farina's little friends here can actually deal with the final stage of it, which actually brings up a good point. I know bosses like the hydrohypostasis we can't really beat with just Farina. So I could bring someone, say Charlotte, for example, and then use her only for the final phase. But the problem with that is that if anyone else is on the team, we'll be further boosting Farina's damage. So then it's not really a solo. And also, we can't do this. Um, so so how about instead, since I can't fully defeat it, we'll just kill it three times. That way, we're basically taking it down one whole time for each of the crystals. And I feel like that, you know, that's pretty fair. So this is the second time that it's going to revive. And this is the third time that it wants to revive. I hate not defeating it, but that's as close as we can get with only Hydro. So next up is going to be the Cryo Regis Vine, which is a bit harder because we have no way of breaking the shield. That just means we need to make sure we're dodging a lot of these attacks because we're okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, easy. We're pretty much always going to be down to around 50% or lower. That's just kind of how it works with Farina. We just got to play it safe. It'll be fine. Any second now. And down goes Cryo Regisvine. Now, staying in the theme of Cryo, we have the Cryo Hypostasis up next. Can my charge attack actually repel the things at the end? I guess we're going to find out together because I, I it might be able to. There we go. Okay, so let's find out. The answer is... Yes. Okay. Very good to know. Oh, right. We actually have to kill it again. Never mind. Listen, it's been a long time since I actually fought the cryo hypostasis. I was about to call it the Regis Vine. Now, I know for a fact I'm going to come to regret this later, but we are going to try and also include the weekly bosses. It shouldn't be too bad, right? I mean, that only adds nine more bosses to the list. Ooh, wait, we actually do some decent damage to this guy. That is not bad at all. Wait, this is perfect because then he runs away. I can change it to the healing one. Heal up for second phase. Phase two doggy. I just need to focus again on dodging. I know these attacks can actually hurt a decent bit. Let's heal. Let, let's be safe. Let's heal. Down goes Andreas. So for the final boss in Mondstadt, we have Devalin. You know, I could cheat and go at level 40. I'm still technically beating the boss, but we'll try it at the highest level. It's a little scary, but we, we could do this. Honestly, I actually forgot how to fight this for a second because it's been so long since I last did. Oh, they can hit it from down there. Okay, we're good. Of course, our, our, our damage isn't necessarily good, but it's not, it's not terrible. Oh, we are so fine. We didn't one phase it, but like over half health. That's way better than I thought it was going to be. And the little trio does a very good job against the shield. Wow, she actually makes this fight really easy. Not that it's ever like hard if you bring an actual team. And down goes Devalin. Now, a fight that I am not looking forward to is Geo Hypostasis. But what I am looking forward to about the fight is the fact that I could just 
run across the ocean to get there. This is actually so nice because I hate swimming outside of Fontaine now, but thanks to Farina, I don't have to. This fight isn't going to be hard. It's just going to be tedious. But oh, oh, they are choosing to attack the Geohypostasis now. The problem is if I attack the construct, they also attack the construct, which means they do nothing. Come on, stay here. Stay here. Don't teleport. Don't don't. Okay, perfect. Charge the tech. Bada bing. Bada boom. Do some damage. Here we go. So this will finish it off there. Now we have to try and do this fun part where I'm just going, um, you know what? I'll use my burst and then I'm just going to spam charge the techs because that's about all I can do. Can I at least kill one of these? Please. But yes. No, I don't think I do did it. Yeah, if I stay back a little bit, they are able to go up there and hit it, which is much better than trying to attack the pillar. All right, this time, no burst, just spam charged attacks. I don't think... Oh, no, we did take out one of the pillars. Okay, just got to do that one more time. No, we did not take out one of the pillars. That time we did, though, so we just have to repeat that. You know, normal attacks might actually be faster. You know, we'll mix in some charged attacks. Why not? And... There it goes. Maybe not the quickest kill, but at least we could take it down. Now, Oceanid, Oceanid, you, you know, everyone, everyone's favorite Hydro boss. Our charged attack can't hit the birds if we get the birds. And Hydro is obviously immune to Hydro. So the only way that I could see this going well is if we just so happen to swap to somebody else's artifacts. And by someone else, of course, I mean a Kokomi, which ironically gives me less HP than the set that I was on as a damage build. Now, we just pop everything with the bubble, hopefully. Yeah, well, uh, the problem is we're not taking damage. So I guess I, guess I have to swap between the two of them and and then that way we can actually heal and cause damage to these things. I don't need these things healing on me. The boars are actually one of the worst ones for us. Yeah, I'm going to try not dodging. Oh, you can walk on water? Well, so can I. Please do not give us boars again. Usually birds are the worst, but right now these are terrible. Oh, no. Oh, thank goodness. No, it's still doing it? Please, no. Oh, that's a, that's a bit of damage. The power of water is its ability to take any shape. You're talking about the power of water to the Hydro Archon? Who do you think you are? All right, actually, I'm going to take this hit because I need to start healing. Yep, hit me. Nice. Gosh, I'm starting to sound like a Beto man. There's round two. You know what? Feel free to hit me with this. Nice. Yeah, attack it, friends. You got this. Hit me. Everybody, feel free to hit me. I'm also instinctively dodging and I can't stop. I've done no damage to the birds. Very nice. Come on. Come on, hit me. Hit me. Hit. No, no, nobody. Okay, we'll go back to these. There we go. Below half, we can switch to this. Start healing and bubble. Bubble. Boo. The bubble does not explode in that large of a radius. Okay, birds are still a problem. Oh, boy. Here we go. Um, um, how much is this? Oh, good. I can do more healing. Bubble, bubble, bubble. Did it, did it hit? I think it might have hit. Bubble, 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 bubble. Okay, there, there's some damage. Bubble, go. Pop, pop, pop. Uh, you missed. Try again, 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 again. Boom, it, it missed. How does the bubble always know to pop when I land on the ground instead of when I'm in the air? Honestly, I wouldn't mind if Ocean does her little nuke thing again. Oh, two of them are dead. And pop. Oh, come on. All you gotta do is pop when you're at the top of the... No. Pop at the top of the jump. Right there. Right there. It's still hit. That's fine. Come on. Boom. Yes. Well, actually, this is nice because they're going to continuously hit me. And that means more bubble procs. Sorry, Oceanid. You are not going to make me pull on the beginner banner. Oh, no. The birds are back. Is this the end of the fight or is there one more wave? It is the end of the fight. All right, Ocean, it is down. Now listen, game. L listen, we are going to go fight Korea University Rock Dragon. Do not make it be Hydro. And it is Electro. Thank you, Hoyaverse. I appreciate that. Let's go. Huge damage. Huge damn running. We'll just let the little guys take care of this. Oh, I forgot to swap my artifacts back. Okay. Well, I, I, I guess we're going to stay on the healing build for right now. Use a shield. I don't have one of those. It does... Oh, barely does anything. This is the wrong build for this character. But I find it kind of funny how with the Raiden solo, this was such a challenge for me and I even got an achievement. And now he literally can't do anything. Oh no, big attack coming in. Oopsie, I forgot to dodge. Oh, what's that? I'm back to full health. Okay, here comes this big final special attack. Let's see how much damage it does to us. Uh-huh. 
All right. <laughs> well, that definitely took a while, but it was stupidly easy. Let's remember to actually swap our artifacts this time. I think for this, I just kind of run away. Yeah, okay. It is down for the first time. Ooh, we do decent damage here. I'm not expecting a one cycle, but that'd be kind of cool. And we actually do. You know what's really gonna suck is if Ashdaha is part Hydro. That's gonna make it take a lot longer. But we'll deal with that later. Because for now, we need to deal with Onyx. Oh, I'm supposed to use the gadget, right? That That's a that's a thing that I'm supposed to do, I think. Kind of annoying that you... I mean, you don't need the gadget to fight this boss, but you probably should use it. And bada bing, bada boom, do some damage. Put that down, switch back to damage, and we're good to go. Ruin Serpent has been uh, defeated. So I think the only boss left in Liyue is Ashdaha? Oh no, Child as well. Oh. Would you look at that? Ashdaha is part hydro. This'll be a, it'll be a quick fight, right? Okay, can I just, can I just, you know, not be here? Let my friends do the damage while I try and run away from this guy? Ow. Stop that! exactly my thoughts okay calm down oh he's about to absorb the power of hydro Woo. all right let's heal while we're in the cutscene. characters without shields are gonna take continuous damage hey that's me okay well what if i just what if i just run and avoid the giant floating hydro balls oh it's gonna be a little hard with no stamina everything's not fine everything is not fine we've taken damage you know i don't want to jinx it but it's it is not terrible I think we're done. I can't get away from it. No. Oh, gosh. This one's gonna suck. We are officially at one death. So I guess what I really need to do is just stay in healing and play for the long game when he starts doing electro attacks. The fact that he's going to be resistant to hydro and it's the first one he does. I don't think it could have gone much worse. Let's go, friends. We could do this. We've only lost one life. Here we go again. I guess I'll try and stay with these guys out, but it's very risky for us. Whoa, that was close. How about you take one of these? One of these. Boom, pop, beep, beep, pop, scoop, beep, beep, pop. Okay, that, that's kind of hurting a little bit. Bet you've never seen this one before, though. I'm gonna hit you with the slash and then the bubble twirl slash. And then I'm gonna do it ag again and again. But just to catch you off guard, this time, I'm gonna do it again. Experience an eon of suffering. Oh, I'm already experiencing it right now. Don't you worry. A full eon of suffering is currently being experienced. This went from a very intense and hard fight to something very mindless for me. Come on, you, you could just you could just like let me win, right? Right, right? We're friends. Farina is friends with Dragon. You are Dragon. Therefore, by the transitive property, you are also my friend. Very easy, boss. First try, of course. Hey, child, remember when you were on trial in Fontaine? Wasn't that, it wasn't a fun times? Well, since the verdict for you was guilty, and we never got to punish you because, you know, you were kind of taken away and you escaped prison, Farina is now here to issue the death sentence to you. Uh, nothing personal, of course. I do kind of love how I can just run around and let the friends do all the work for us. Like, look at this. I do nothing and they do everything. And they're really good about staying on the target. We have to be a little careful because he probably could do a decent chunk of our health. Oh, oh, huh. Well, that's not ideal. Well, now we know if he hits us in the last phase when we're at about 50% HP, we just die. And that means we are at two deaths and we still have a good chunk of bosses to go. Watch this. We're going to heal up nice and healthily, full health, then... We're gonna press this button and then this button and it should do decent damage because now we can actually get some fanfare stacks going. I must say, this is still a really cool fight. I know this boss came out years ago, but I still do like this fight. Kill him. Die here. Yeah, that's what I'm saying to you. Oh, we're fine. Everything is fine. I suppose that means it is time for Inazuma. So why don't we just take on the Enkonomiya boss first? Because I'm not looking forward to this one. Okay, hey friends, let's let's be nice to one another. And by that, I mean I'm going to attack you and I'd prefer if you did not attack me. Also, the fact that I can kind of run away and let, oh gosh, and let my little friends deal the damage makes it a bit easier. I really don't like 
like soloing this fight. 2v1 does not feel good. Okay, there we go. First one's down. Watch this. We'll do that. Swap back to this. And they do a little bit of damage. This has been way easier than when we did it with Raiden. Of course, most of that comes down to the fact that I can just heal myself. But now if we want to take care of the bosses that are going to be more annoying first, um, let's go see if this one's even possible. As you could probably tell, Farina is not a Geo character. That makes it very hard to knock this boss out of its little uh, special phase. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, I'm scared. I don't have my heals up right now. He gets stunned after this, right? Oh, oh, yeah. So here comes the bad part. Here comes the part I am absolutely not looking forward to. Is this going to be possible? If we put down that, they do attack it. Um, I need to do a lot of dodging here. So far, it seems... A little, a little scary. Oh my, yeah, the, the bleed is terrible. Beautiful dodge. First one is a down. Two down. Back to heal. No, guys, don't try and attack the wolf. That's not gonna help anything. Third wolf head is down. Okay, now huge damage time. We didn't take it down there, but we might be able to do it before it summons in the wolf heads again. Someone hit it. Yes! A little risky, but not terrible. Wanna know what is gonna be terrible? Fighting a boss that's immune to Hydro. Wait, can I kill this without elemental damage? Oh, no. Fantastic. Forgot about that, but we can knock it out of the arena and then just fight this thing on the other side. Again, though, this is one of those fights I have no way of actually winning. At least I don't I don't think I do. I'll try to smack the slimes away at the end with Freena's normal attacks. I don't expect it to work, but you never know. Moment of truth. Can we keep these things away? Oh, you know, um, I, I keep circling around it, which is not a good thing. We... Oh, <gasps> wait. Yes, we can. Oh, oh, we can actually kill this one. So Farina's charged attack actually has some decent knockback to it. All right, so we just do some normals, knock it once, and then just keep doing this. And it can't get to the center. Well, now we all know that Farina can, in fact, solo this boss. I don't even think that Raiden was able to solo this boss. So the fact that a Hydro character can is kind of funny. There we go. That's it. That is the Hypo Hydrostasis completed. I feel like those were all the bad bosses we were going to have to fight in Inazuma. Let's Let's start out with a bang, go for the burst, switch to attack, and now we'll see how much we do. This fight's also going a lot smoother than I expected. So we're gonna heal up. We're gonna go for uh, this again. The only real combo, so to speak, that I can do. And then we're just gonna let them do some damage. Haku <laughs> Kenki, I'm sorry to admit you could not best us. You know, perpetual mechanical array shouldn't be that hard, but sometimes you can get juggled by its attacks when it summons all of its little own minions in. So this is gonna kind of be a battle of the minions. Although ours aren't minions. Ours are friends. So through the power of friendship, we'll be able to beat this boss. Ooh. All right, we gotta go back to heal. My burst really does nothing for us here, but it makes the screen look all bubbly and cool. So I don't know what else you could ask for. And there we go. Not too shabby. Now, theoretically, this boss should be very simple for us. We use the burst, swap back the damage so we get the fanfare. Now, attack this one and now attack okay well it's gone oh okay that's it it doesn't go back into its final phase i forgot i just remembered who the weekly boss is in inazuma i don't want to fight raiden shogun that's not a fun fight thunder manifestation your time has come so before we go suffer against raiden shogun let's try senora's fight first i wonder if this would have been better with the healing build as well i cannot lose another one of our lives before we're at least in sumeru okay now we're going to go back to the healing mode. Bada boop, bada bang, bada bung, and there we go. Too bad that's not the whole fight. I would say the key in this battle is just dodging, but isn't that always the case? I forgot how fiery this fight gets when you don't kill her quick enough. Oh, wait, she died? Oh, uh, okay. I guess I wasn't really paying attention to her health bar. Ah. <sighs> Here we go. Oh, I was going to come in with the healing build. I forgot. It's fine. It's fine. I doubt I'll even need to heal. After all, we do have the power of friendship. Am I going to be I'm able dead. to break the thing that gives you the shield to not die to her nuke? I assume that the friends will be able to attack it. Oh, that will be over here. I'll be... Uh, I guess I won't be over there. I'll be over here. 
that didn't do that much damage. I think for the most part, I'm just going to stay in healing form for this and dodge the attacks. Because then as she attacks, she'll drain her own shield. Actually, except for when she does uh, this. Please tell me they attack this. Oh, thank goodness they do. Are they going to be... Uh-oh. Hmm. Well, that's a problem. How about we come back to this? I have a feeling Raiden's fight might be the one that pushes us over our five lives. So we'll save it. We'll just save it for later. That way, for the rest of the video, I can just be dreading when I have to go back. We're going for the healing damage again. Because this dude also can dish out some good damage. I almost feel bad for this boss. Not quite, but almost. Well, there goes Jade Plume Terror Shroom. Speaking of bosses, I don't want to fight this one is probably not going to be fun either i'm going to keep the healing set on probably would be better to go with the the damage build oh oh it'd be so much better to go with a damage build look at this we can't destroy this thing even with our friends i'll try but i don't think that we can yeah no we can't so it is always going to get its nuke off so our job is to just either avoid the attack with iframes or we just have to be at a high enough hp where it can't kill us let's see how much damage we take from this please don't kill please don't oh that's easy so this essentially just turns into genshin dialogue simulator aka spam left click and just like with unskippable dialogue this is taking forever i may have won a against this boss but it does not feel like i won next up aeon blight drake we are back on the damage build because i know this dude has some physical resistance uh, soon he'll have some hydro resistance as well hydro res has increased fun times ahead oh oh no this is definitely one of the easier bosses in this challenge so i do not want to lose a life here couple more seconds and we are good to go good to go now i don't have electro here but we could still break these slowly with hydro use electro to hit the component well you see the problem with that is i can't okay beyblades are actually a bit of an issue i think the healing build would have been better here at least for this part oh but you can still break it doing that okay not bad at all honestly this was i was gonna say it was one of the easier ones and then the boss disappeared on zero hp Did we just run away oh uh, actually i should probably heal. oh it's dead Okay, we're fine. Let's go get this one out of the way. I really wish you could solo every boss, but they sadly implement features that don't let you solo it with some characters. Like you can't solo this with a Dendro character, but you need a Dendro character to kill it. Very unfortunate. Oh, oh, I locked myself in. Let's go back to heal, wait for this. And then when it's about to nuke, we go for this and we are fine so that is as far as we can take this fight I, there's, there's really nothing we could do here i mean now we can't even get the bloom to activate because we can't bloom off of these i i mean i think i think this is it i hate to say it but that that's as good as we can do in this fight the only other thing i can think of okay we have to essentially attack it in areas that are not the center to generate the blooms and then once it, it goes to the center those blooms have to explode on the things that'll then make it charge faster we'll take it down one more time but after that uh, we're, just, we're just gonna move on to the next one okay we generated some bloom now watch this what it's not close enough i don't think <laughs> I mean, look, it it was an idea, right? Ah, now I want to try it again. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to stay right here, this corner. I'm just really curious if this will actually work. So let's try and quickly, quickly. Okay, now watch this. Watch this. Bada. <gasps> oh, wait a second. Like that. That's that's a good start. But do you do you maintain your progress when you're charging it? Um, I I think it maintained a little bit. Oh. <gasps> does maintain progress wait it is possible then it's a lengthy process but it is possible and okay wow we we actually did it now call me crazy but i don't think this is gonna be a hard fight it might make me eat my words here but i have never struggled against this thing well except for in the spiral abyss outside of the spiral abyss i have never struggled against this like how did i just break it there i thought you needed to use animo to break it not that i'm complaining because it means more damage but once again i don't struggle at all against this boss but if we do want to see a boss i might struggle against then 
the Baptist. And of course, he doesn't have a pyro shield. Well, if I've never gotten the achievement for killing him without breaking a shield, then this might be the time that we get that. Oh, look. Look, hydro... Oh, wait. Hydro shield. Wait a minute. I can't do anything. Oh, I should have brought in the, the healing. But I, I actually can't do anything. Uh, does the shield ever change? Or did I just once again get the worst RNG possible? Okay, shield does change. Very good to know. I think you have to deal elemental damage though. Okay, no damage goes through the shield. Got it. So I just have to wait for the shield to go down? Oh gosh. That is fine. Everything's fine. Any second now it should drop. Any second now? <gasps> okay. This is not a good fight for us. We do no damage. Oh, boy. I guess on the kind of bright side, I don't have to worry about attacking him. I just heal, run, and then when he decides to no longer sit behind a shield like a coward, that is when we swap the damage and try to get some form of damage out. And then the shield goes back up and we go back to healing. Oh, Wait, wait, we can destroy the electro shield. Oh, that's huge. Very good to know. Oh, wait, but that also means I don't get the achievement now. So that should be it. Very nice. It, it took a little bit of time, a little bit of patience, but that's fine. Time for the weekly bosses. Genuinely wondering if I should go with the healing build. I mean, I, I guess we'll just try it like this, but we only have two lives remaining. Although I guess we have this guy. So as long as we heal enough, it could just take it out over time. Also, we're going to ignore the fact that I've only fought this boss like at most four times. So when it comes to the strategy for this fight, I got nothing. Like what do I do now that I've activated the electro things? Do I just click random tiles? Wait, what do I, why would I want this? What, what would the, what's the wind current going to, huh? Oh, electro's back. How do you dodge this one? How do you, Okay. Yeah, how do you, um... <laughs> uh, sure. Now for phase two, which I'm a little worried about for one specific attack. I am relying on this little green guy quite a bit. I forgot to keep my heal up. What am I doing? <gasps> I need my heal. I... Oh, mm, I didn't have my heal near me. Well, we're down to one life. This is uh, is not looking good. I hate the fact that I have to do phase one again. Okay, this should allow us to take him down again. Well, at least into phase two. Now, let's just not let the same thing happen. So, um, um, fun, fun, happy time right here. I can't do damage to these. Well, that's good to know now. I would have saved my burst to try an iframe, but I thought I'd be able to destroy these because I could destroy the other electro shield. Well, it would seem that we are going to take a lot of damage. How much damage, you ask? Uh, probably our entire health bar. Surely not though, right? How much you, 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 you don't have to kill me. Okay, apparently you do have to kill me. Can you even iframe that? I genuinely don't think we win that. Well, uh, I, I don't really have a choice. I have to pull on the beginner banner. It's a purple. As to be expected, we build no pity. We waste all of our primo gems. And we get a beta where I already have C6. What a great use of my primos. So after a bit of research, with a Hydro character, you pretty much cannot solo scare Moosh. Every other video I've seen has brought in another character to either sack off or to destroy those things in the center. So I pretty much went as far as I can soloing only with Farina, and I don't want to bring in a second character. So Scaramouche gets to go on the list of bosses we cannot solo, which of course pains me to admit, but I really can't do anything about the way that Hoyaverse does designed the game. Also forgot I have to talk to the NPC to activate this fight. Are they gonna do the dance thing where one goes in the center and the other spins around the outside nuking you? Oh, oh, I think they're starting it. But since I'm not in the center, it should be pretty easy to dodge. Oh, I got an achievement. Well, this fight was way easier than I thought it would be. And down go the dancers. Uh, we still have to try to fight Raiden at some point, which I'm not looking forward to. Oh, I also skipped Apep. After Crab, we will have to go back for Apep. Oh, another achievement. Crab was very easy, which is to be expected from a Pyro boss. I do wish I could uncount the Scaramouche fight because it was literally impossible for us to solo, but I already spent the primos, so 
I mean, we kind of already did it. Phase one is complete. Now beginning phase one and a half. Oh, what is Pac-Man doing here? I do I do not like that thing. No, 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 no. What, what would you, how do you get away from this thing? Excuse me? You're supposed to like protect the center thing, aren't you? Yeah, Um, that's kind of difficult to do. Oh, uh, I don't think we can do that either. Let's give it one more try this time with the physical healery build. So I honestly expect this build to do worse here. I cannot kill these things fast enough. I'm still trying. Oh, Pac-Man's back. Please stop attacking. Deadlier monsters incoming. That's what I wanted to hear. Wow, look at how much damage I'm doing. Two. One. Excuse me? Oh, Pac-Man's here again. We are so close to getting through this phase, but we need Pac-Man to leave us alone. Or actually, if Pac-Man hits me enough, the bubble keeps procking. Maybe that's a good thing. <gasps> wow. I somehow did it. Well, at the very least, I'm glad that this wasn't another boss I wasn't able to defeat. And I got another achievement for it. Now back to our regularly scheduled program of defeating Fontaine bosses. Although I forgot to swap my artifacts back, so I guess we're still on a healer build. Probably would have been a lot faster with the other build, but we will take it. And actually, while we're on this build, I guess we might as well attempt this boy, because it's not like our friends would do any damage to him anyways. Can I even take this? these things out uh yes just very slowly and he absorbed it before i could take it out okay what about this one this one, surely i could take this one out oh no there's another one already my okay we took out one uh now there are two more and this one's gonna get absorbed before i can do anything about it yeah let, let's just focus on the boss oh Jeez, I have never seen him get this big. Don't worry. In about three to five business days, he should be defeated. I did not think we were going to need a physical build for so many bosses in this game. Okay, he's down. Once again, we go back to damage. I guess it would also help to get the remaining amount of crit damage that this sword can offer. We can just pretend that I had that the whole time. And now I see what this boss archers are kind of nice to have because if you stay too close you take a lot of damage oh it's still not a fun fight though i mean it's way more fun than just spamming left click for 10 minutes yeah i i guess it's just not gonna do the attack where it goes into the sky though that is oh boy completely fine with me down goes uh, the seahorse all that's left now is the narwhal and raiden sadly i think that the whale's gonna be easier than raiden phase one kind of simple you just run oh yeah this will be really easy for us actually because <laughs> We just smack it a few times. Oh, wait, so we're already going into phase two. Got it. So as long as I keep the healing out, we should be fine. He's gonna do that. And we break this. And yeah, we just repeat that. Yes, please keep doing that. Phase two, nice and easy. Well, one and a half, two, two, two. Is this three? Is that two? Wow, huge, insane damage. Do we go to phase two again? Again? I thought that was a one and done thing. Hitchhiker's Guide to the... G okay, achievement. I guess I'm not that mad then. It's almost over. The whale is about to fall. Oh, come on. <laughs> It's at no HP. What do you mean it's not dead yet? Oh, sorry. You're not surviving that one. Goodbye. And I will be taking these drops. Thank you very much. But that means there is just one boss left. And it's the Raiden Shogun. This, this, this is not going to be fun. No, I, I don't think I will continuously attack that to break it. Because I don't think I can break it. Uh, does eye framing work in this fight? I guess we're going to find out. So, uh, just just a question. I, I know it's like a, a Farina video and all. But when are we getting that as a wearable outfit for Raiden Shogun? I know it won't have all of the floating arms and everything. But just the outfit itself would be fine. They don't even have to design a new... Oh, oh it takes away your... Oh, we're dead. Oh, we're dead. Oh, we're... I'm gonna live. I'm gonna live. I'm... I'm not gonna live. Okay. So we can't save our burst because she eats our burst for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So what we need to do is... Oh, and if we do that, then maybe? Okay. This should be fun. We do that. And then... Um... Um, maybe? Maybe just barely? Oh! <gasps> 
Oh, I'm gonna have to do that so many times, aren't I? It has to be like frame perfect, but it's possible. It is indeed a possible. Can I do it twice? Is this it? This is it. Okay. Attack this. Attack this. Attack this. Attack this, please. Please, please, more attack. More attack. We die. Surely I wouldn't lose again, though. Uh huh. Attack this one. This thing. This thing. Faster. Faster. Please. Thank you. But now she goes back to this. So we do one of these. We go by the beam. We start. No, we go back to this one. And we do huge, insane, big number damage. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Where is it? Show me. This thing. Guys. Everyone. Please. 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 Attack. Faster. Oh, it's just too easy. I don't want to have to do it again, but we're going to have to. We've done it twice. Oh, no, here it comes. Okay, where is it? It's going to be back here. Yes. Oh, that was the easiest one so far. Challenge? What's that? And now drop it. Drop the shield. Shield has been dropped. Didn't quite take her out, but we should... Oh, oh, please don't die. Thank you. Well, other than Electro Hypostasis and Scaramouche, we were able to solo every boss. And obviously we couldn't do those two because there's no way for us to actually take down the Electro Shields. But unfortunately, our beginner banner's gone. And now my Navia fund is not looking so good. And because I know somebody is going to point it out, the Borg King does not technically count as a boss plus i have to use another character in order to get it to spawn which is what we were trying not to do in any of the other boss fights so i'm going to attempt to switch the team which we did get remove amber kill these guys and then this boy shows up and i know the timer is paused now but shh, it doesn't really matter he'll be dead in two seconds would y'all look at that the final true end game boss has been defeated so four hours and 15 minutes to kill 37 bosses plus one if you you want to count the boar king it's not it's, it's not that bad it's not that good would have helped if hoyaverse designed it so you could actually kill bosses like scaramouche with the hydro character but with that being said i hope you all enjoyed and i will see you next time